So we're going to be starting on our backs today. And I'd like for you to bring the heels a bit closer to the buttocks and allow the knees to fall onto each other. So we're going to be starting in a half Shavasana pose. Taking some time here just to wiggle into the floor. Maybe stretching the toes a bit. Rolling the shoulders. Allowing your hands to actually your hands to go on the chest and on the belly. And I invite you now to focus on the sensations of breathing. And I'd like for you, as best you can, to breathe into the belly. To breathe into the sides. And to breathe into the back. So as you inhale, you want that hand that's on the belly to go up. And you want to engage the lungs or the muscles to feel also the back making contact with the floor as you inhale Taking these first few moments to reconnect with the body and the breath. If there's a particular intention that you have for today's practice, feeling free to set that. And now allowing the hands to come on the sides. And just to start activating a bit our lower back and our core, I'd like for you to lift the lower back as if you were stretching the front of the body up forward. So making a little arch in the lower back. Inhaling when you're up, and then I'd like you to exhale and squeeze the back towards the mat. So we want our lower back as best we can to be glued to the floor and your hand can't even make it underneath the back. And we'll repeat a few times. So we inhale. We arch. And we exhale, curling down. Coming back to neutral, placing the feet and the knees a bit wider than hip width apart, bringing the heels closer to the body. And I'd like for you here to engage the glutes. So we squeeze the glutes and slowly vertebrae by vertebrae in the spine, beginning to lift up, squeezing 
going into a bridge position. Engaging the core, breathing here, maybe engaging the heels or more the legs by trying to bring the heels closer to the body. Breathing in and on your next exhale, slowly vertebrae by vertebrae, coming back down. until our hips and our tailbone reaches the ground and we relax. So again, squeezing now, engaging the hips, the pelvis, the glutes, squeezing and vertebrae by vertebrae, making your way up. creating some space in your neck so we don't want the chin to be touching the chest. Maybe you can lift the toes up, see how that's different. Breathing in, expanding to the belly, the sides, the back, and on the exhale, vertebrae by vertebrae, making our way back down. After the hips and the tailbone make it to the ground, we let go and relax. And we'll do one more. So squeezing, engaging, and making your way up. When you're up, maybe seeing if you can push the hips even further towards the sky. Squeezing those legs, gauging the core, relaxing the hands, smiling, breathing, and slowly making your way back down. Beginning to windshield wiper, the legs from one side to the other. And I'd like for you to slow down the pace. So taking maybe 10 seconds or more to make it to one side. and about 10 seconds or so to the other side. Increasing our perception and awareness of the body in slower movement. Taking the opportunity to sense and feel maybe parts of the body you haven't in a while or maybe, maybe even never. Coming back to center, bringing one of the feet onto the back of the other knee or actually on the, on the thigh, flexing the foot and staying here maybe pushing a bit on that knee. So we open up the hips or beginning to reach through. 
squeezing the leg closer to the body. You can also grab the shin. Or if you would like more of a hamstring stretch as well, you can straighten the leg and uh, stretch this way. Breathing into that belly, back and sides as best you can. And exhaling, letting go. Slowly letting go, bringing the legs back down. And we'll be switching to the other side. So more than welcome to stay here. Pressing a bit. Could look totally different. Maybe, maybe it's just this. So really finding your range of motion, finding a sensation that's stimulating but not overwhelming. Focusing on that deep, wide, 360 degree breath. The way that I like to think about it is when I inhale, breathing in all this nice, rich nutrients and oxygen and energy into the areas that are tight, where I feel the sensations. And I greet with the breath what's tight, what's stiff, what's stressed. And I kindly, with the exhale, escort a little bit of that stress, tension, and tightness out with the exhale. So a few more breaths here. Feeling free to make this a more dynamic movement. You don't have to be rigid or still. Just a little bit of movement, maybe with the toe or with the hip, with the shoulders can really open up something new, something new to explore. Making our way out of this posture, bringing the feet back down, bringing one hip closer to the heel and rotating. Because if we're sort of stretching one of the sides, bringing one of the hips up, the other one's down. Squeezing the knees closer to the chest, giving the legs a hug. Placing the hands on the back of the legs, beginning to rock forward, backwards.
and making our way to a seated position. I will face you, but you can still be facing forward. And what I'd like for you to do now is to straighten out the legs. And I'd like for you to bend one of the legs. And might be supportive to have a cushion or something you could sit on. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring one of the legs over. So this might be enough. Maybe you'll bring it over. Or bringing the foot further back, having the knee more or less above the other knee. This is um, a very, I would say, intense posture, at least for me. Um, or the lower back, but also the, the legs. And then from here, we're going to be bending forward. If this is not accessible, you can also cross one of the legs in front of the other and bend forward this way. Maybe noticing what it's like to point the toes, seeing maybe what stretches in the front of the foot and leg versus flexing the toes. Noticing what happens if you bring the toes to one side or the other. as best we can, being gentle and allowing, relaxing. Lots of tension can build up when we notice all these, all these sensations. So it helps to breathe, it helps to smile. Making our way back up, switching to the other side. So if you've had, if you're sitting more cross-legged, you can switch the feet. Otherwise, you can play around here with the range of motion. You may notice how one side can be completely different than the other. So my right side is, is a lot more damage because of injuries. It's a lot more tight, and I notice the sensations a lot more acutely. It's important to stretch also asymmetrically. Still breathing into the belly, the sides, the back, as best you can. Maybe relaxing the head and the neck more. We hold a lot of tension in the jaw and in the tongue. So exploring what it's like to soften and relax the jaw. Maybe the mouth opens up a little bit. 
softening the tongue. As we practice more, we can notice how how one sensation in the body sends ripples to the rest of the body. And we might be reacting with tension. We notice something in the leg, and that might mean that we tense up the shoulders or tense up the face. It's great that we have this ability because we're trying to protect the other body, you know, we're preparing to fight something or to run away. But I don't think there's any tigers you need to run away from in this posture. So using this opportunity to relax, to breathe, to smile. Making our way back out. Bringing both legs in front and windshield wiping the feet. Making some circles with the feet in one direction and the other. And from here, we're going to be crawling our way onto our hands and knees. And we want to bring our hands a bit forward, the hips more or less above the knees, the feet can be flat or curled, and we'll stretch by reaching the hands forward, bringing our chest or our head or our neck closer to the mat. Breathing in deeply to the belly, the back, the sides. Exhaling, letting go. Curling the toes, beginning to crawl back up to tabletop. Reaching one of the legs forward. Low lunge. Taking some time here to wiggle and twist. And we'll be flattening that back foot out. Stretching the front of the leg, but also the back. If you'd like, coming on kind of more upright, if there's pain on the knee, I recommend at you know rolling up a blanket or rolling up the mat or putting some cushion underneath the knee. You won't be here too long, but um, just taking some time to to stretch this way, opening up the front of the leg, the back, squeezing a bit the butt cheeks. Deep breaths in and out.
coming back down. Twisting the body towards the back. Reaching the hand up, maybe back. Just staying here if this is OK. Or beginning to lift that back leg. Grabbing the toes. Kicking the leg back, which pulls the shoulders back. And then we want to try to bring that leg closer to the back. Very intense stretch here, being gentle, being kind. If this is not accessible, um, you can, when you practice this next time, getting a strap or a rope or a belt to, to bring that foot closer. Okay. Coming back, moving to the other side. After you do a little wiggle, a little rotation, a little cat and cow. Coming into that low lunge on the other side when you're ready. Taking some time here. To wiggle, to move. To breathe into the sensations. As we open up new parts of the body. Important to breathe into those areas. Staying here. Or coming up. It's gentler with the hands on the knees, but if you're wanting a deeper sensation, you can also bring the hands down to the sides or above the head. And coming back down to low lunge, hand on the mat, Twisting, staying here, or beginning to bring that foot up, reaching back. Maybe, maybe it's like this. Maybe you're grabbing back. You might even have uh, the ability to bring the foot closer to your elbow. You could lock. As always, it's making this practice your own. Coming out of it. Making our way back to tabletop. Bringing the feet close together, the toes, flattening them out, making your way into child's position. And we will end in this resting pose. Time flies when you're having fun. Breathing into the belly, the back, the sides. Giving yourself a mental round of applause. For stretching. For breathing for becoming more aware of your body. For investing in yourself. Always a good investment.
I thank you kindly for moving with me and the group.